Welcome back to the Engineer Hall channel. Now we saw we got any motor cars that made our fleet just a little bit bigger, but now I gotta put something in there. So I picked up these guys here from uh, Yankee Dally there. Of course, you check out the website and see if they're still available if you like what you see. So of course, on this channel, we're gonna compare the model to the prototype and get to see these new guys right here running on the railroad and the new cars that we got the pen All right, so stay tuned. Always comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, and I always appreciate everyone for coming back and looking for more. So let's open these up and see what we get inside. All right, come individual wrap. Get this guy out. Let's take out the details we get on this car. Well, I should say container. Okay, it's pretty good here. Yeah, I, I like this where you, they have a, a patched over. You can see that there. Now look at that door detail. Oh, look at that. The gasket, reflective the tape there, and you can see the information. I can zoom in. I'll get it just right. You can see the information there on the car. Well, the container, which is pretty good. Anyway, they all look the same. Let's take a look at this guy's here. Oh, if you want the name of it, this is the guys right here. Man, look at this. Alright, looks pretty cool. So let's Compare the model to the prototype. Let's take a one of each there because pretty much they're all the same and see how they look. Here we found this container in November 2nd, 2018 here. Zoom out. We got the row name and row number, which is here. So taking a look at this uh, container, we have a 53 here on the bottom, have the white on top and the bottom of the containers there where the pins go in or when the container get lift up uh, coming across you have this detail here on the model you got the DA with the arrow pointed to the left coming down got the high Q which is right up here you got the EMP you look at the same uh, color here with the black and uh, blue and the yellow background and then you have this shape as a square and a rectangular type patch on the um, bottom coming across we'll enable number and here more of that detail that's on the model and of course you have that uh, white there here and you got that 53 so <laughs> oh and also the color see how the color matches that this is more like a, a used and abused type of color here on the uh, model which is represent the prototype are very well and this is the top of the container here so I haven't seen the photos with the top of the container but this would look like found a photo of this container it was just similar this photo was taken back in June 9 2018 here take a look at what we got so off the bat we have this uh, long blue patch here have this short rectangle one we got the red on the outside. We look closely. We do have the black and a yellow striping here on the side. Coming across here, you have your real name and a sorry, you turn the name and number. On this other end here, we do have that red and black label here on the end, and you have that red also. Let me take a look from the side. We do we got the 53? Here you got the wheat. You have that look yellow label here on the bottom now here's a photo we got three different containers well pretty much the same so we could look in this in here that that it does have the black and the yellow striping on the top corners we got 53 there and you got the road well the container name and the number there the big 53 in the middle and we can look on the other containers in the back right well, you can see you got that uh, 110 here under the 53. Now flip this one over. You can see that the patch job, two patches up top, you got that 110, 
got a label in here which is right there and we have some information here on the car which is here and also the door latches appears to uh, match the uh, prototype also and the colors here are match the prototype like this orange looks uh, pretty good here well red feeder red should say then you got the blue here on the container and this other photo that the dark blue here looks to be you know very similar so today I picked up some more containers so I had this uh, EMP uh, the XFEC set one so this is what the container look like here Also, we picked up the set two. It's pretty much the same looking container. So really nothing different there. All share the same uh, decals. Also picked up a EMPX pet card, which is a guy right here. And also I picked up another EMP X hub in uh, this orange color here. Compare this model to the prototype, we'll take a look at the overall container. The container has the EMP, this is black and it's blue as it is per prototype here. We can zoom in and check that out. All right, so we have this, of course, this uh, faded red on both ends here, and then the top corners at the yellow and black striping here. And I come across at the patch job here. And you got that one tin in the middle, and you have the container name and number here. And also you got that 53 and a 110 on the container. And just another view of this container here. Now, now look at the end. We still had that orange, sorry, the yellow and a black stripe in with the 53 with the 110 there. But we're going to take a look here at the other end. The EMP on both sides of the door. Now you have the patch job here. 110. Look, it appears how the door handles are on the correct positions here comparing this model to the prototype here now this was a is the emp container but is the x fec for east coast uh, railroad there anyway taking a look at the decals we have here 53 the da here on the bottom one high cube the emp logo with the patch road name which is here and at nine that nice little detail there i like that Anyway, come across same stencil here as it's supposed to. Now let's take a look at a different way here or a different container that we see at the door detail that we do have that uh, reflective tape here on the edges. Now you got this patch job here with EMP over the uh, Florida East Coast um, logo here as it is on the prototype. It's pretty good that Road name is patched out, kept the same number, and the data on the container is, still, is where it's supposed to be at or matches the prototype very well. Here's a project I like doing, like adding weight to my container. So this is the empty weight here. So I'm gonna add weight to it. It's just two uh, bolts. Bring that up to 3.5 ounces. Project is basically pop open this container, pull out the floor. Get some glue. I use this guy here. Get this at Home Depot or uh, Dollar General. And just basically put some glue on here. I like to put on both ends to be a nice, even uh, distributed weight throughout the container. Stick it in there, moving around. And let's sit and dry. So I'll put out some new admin chassis here so I can fit our Atlas containers on. So these are 53 foot chassis. Now I'll take a look at the container, how they sit on the chassis, look very good. The containers match their prototype very well. Let's take a look at the back, door detail. Looks good. So good. 